Okay. Situational awareness. Okay. So um, for this one, um, LA was an airport we worked with and um, they wanted to, um, you know, support airport response to issues, incidents that people could report for using an iPad in the field. And they wanted it all tied together to support um, disparate applications. And really, um, again, there's a full story there. If you click there, you'll be able to see the full story about this. But we just wanted to talk about this one really quickly because this challenge is really all about this is a great data integration challenge. In order to, to create a, get a great situational awareness, you have to pull together many systems. So you can see I've highlighted Maximo. Um, if you go to safe, you're going to look for Maximo and you're not going to see it there. But Maximo has a, a, an API. So with safe, you can easily call Maximo. So they called Maximo. They also called another system called PropWorks. And you can see all the different types of data that um, they were pulling together. We just highlighted the ones that we thought um, were interesting. And the dot, dot, dot means there were many others. So what they did is they brought all this data together so they could get a single view of all the things going on and they use the transformation capabilities of FME to tie them together in an intelligent fashion. So, yeah, so there we go, share our data automatically. Um, they also build a redundant database. If there was some stuff that was mission critical from different systems um, and sometimes the, the source system, it might take some time to pull the data. What they would do is they'd pull all the, what they deemed it to be the mission critical um, data um, together to build a redundant database. So then um, they weren't reliant on another system um, so that they could really respond in a timely fashion. And um, yeah, so that's what they did there. And some of the airports again, um, that we've worked with, with situational awareness are, uh, are right there.